Good morning and welcome to another edition of This Week in YouTube, the show that's voluntarily suspending itself until the economy gets fixed. I'm Lon Harris. And I'm Leah D'Amelio. Our top story this week, the first presidential debate turned into an argument over who had the better jewelry. I will wear his bracelet. I've got a bracelet too. Well, I don't have a bracelet, but the state of California is making me wear this anklet. You don't hear me bragging about it. A train station in India has hired a man to dress as a monkey to scare away angry pests. The station will continue the program into the next year and hopes to cut down on costs by outsourcing the job to American bankers. This week, the world said goodbye to legendary actor and philanthropist Paul Newman, who passed away at the age of 83. Here's a tribute from the Newman's own foundation. I'm a great um, believer in luck. He said, you know, there's going to be a profit from this thing. Let's give it all away to charity. He'll usually come to the camp and you just see him in the back and he's smiling and I think that's that's his biggest reward, just seeing that the kids are happy. Just lay back and raise hell. Bye. This week's debate between Republican Sarah Palin and Democrat Joe Biden was the most anticipated vice presidential debate in history, probably because of the addition of the swimsuit competition. Politics to athletics have led our basketball team to the championship of the state tournament. The guys from Derek Comedy released the trailer for their first feature-length film, Mystery Team. We're the Mystery Team. My name's Jason, the master of the sky. I'm Duncan, the boy genius. And I'm Charlie, the strongest kid in town. Ow! The crew hopes it will be as big a hit as other films with mystery in the title, such as Mystery Men and Mystery Alaska. In these troubled economic times, many Americans are turning to a new option, the personal bank. With the economy crumbling, I was worried I was going to lose my life savings. But then I found a bank that wasn't tied to the insurance systems. This is my personal bank. This is my personal bank. Savvy financial advisors are also encouraging Americans to invest in antidepressants, hobo bindles, and noose futures. This just in, authorities have issued a safety precaution for all citizens to be on the lookout for vicious, roving bands of bridesmaids. When confronted by a bat-wielding bridesmaid, most self-defense experts suggest throwing a bouquet of flowers as a distraction, or should no flowers be available, start a round of the electric slide. As part of the Great Schlepp campaign, comedian Sarah Silverman is asking young Jews to visit their grandparents in Florida and convince them to vote for Barack Obama. If you knew that visiting your grandparents could change the world, would you do it? Of course you would. You'd have to be a douche nozzle not to. In response, old Jews in Florida have started a campaign to go visit their younger relatives in New York and encourage them to break up with this girl. She's not right for you and we would kill you to eat something, you skin and bones. This week, Anaboom released their latest foray into post-apocalyptic horror, Snowy the Frostman. Let's have a parade! Yay! Yay! Or a bloodbath! Huh? Children, remember, when building a snowman, be sure to choose your least evil hat. So no top hats, berets, or old-fashioned diver's helmets, please. The guys from Smosh, Anthony and Ian, are trying to be taken more seriously as ghosts. And then some rude butthead bumped into me. Hey, watch it, pal. You could see me? But I'm a ghost. We don't look like a ghost. We should note that after watching this video, you will not laugh for seven days. Some kind of a curse or something. Comedian Sasha Baron Cohen wreaked havoc after invading a Prada fashion show in Milan. Cohen's ruse was discovered when he was spotted eating and not throwing a phone at anyone backstage. On the latest installment of Drunk History, we learned about ninth president William Henry Harrison. William Henry Harrison was 68 years old. 68 back then was like the age expectancy of a man born his age was 40. Drug history, guys. I freaking love you, man. This stuff is hilarious. This is awesome. Lon, are you okay? Yeah, you know, I mean, I might have Irished up this coffee a little bit this morning, but I feel great. Finally this week, vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin went to a local Philadelphia eatery to try a cheesesteak. Governor, did you watch the debate last night? I did, I did. Well, that's it for this week in YouTube. For Leah D'Amelio, I'm Lon Harris, watching YouTube so you don't have to. We'll see you next time.